Welcome everybody. A couple of weeks ago, I posted a video questioning whether or not uh, federal grant deadlines would be extended due to the current uh, coronavirus pandemic situation that we find ourselves in. Well, lo and behold, about a week after I made that video, the Office of Management and Budget uh, issued some guidance on that and several other grant management issues. So the memo dated March 19th, uh, memo number M2017, uh, administrative relief for recipients of federal financial assistance directly impacted by the novel coronavirus due to loss of operations. Well, I'm not going to read uh, the entire memo. I'll just I'll post a link to it in the description so you can download it and check it out for yourself. I just want to hit the points I think are the most relevant to grant recipients. Now, what's uh, what's important to keep in mind uh, when going through this memo? is the guidance applies to the grant awarding agencies and not necessarily the grant recipients. Uh, the, the memo simply gives awarding agencies uh, some options during this crazy period. Now, just because you read something in this memo doesn't mean it will apply to your grant. Uh, every awarding agency will handle their grants a little differently some may exercise you know all the flexibility granted uh, in the memo and others not so much so if you haven't already you should be receiving information from your program officers fairly soon as they sort through you know this memo and the situation and decide how to proceed <clears throat> Excuse me. So the first thing, first thing I want to point out is uh, flexibility with application deadlines. So awarding agencies may provide flexibility with regard to the submission of uh, competing applications in response to specific announcements, as well as unsolicited applications. Uh, as appropriate, agencies should list specific guidance on their websites and provide a point of contact, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, so, <clears throat> so for applications that are coming due soon, awarding agencies will have the option to extend deadlines or maybe close the current solicitation and reopen it later, or give applicants uh, who have already uh, submitted the opportunity to withdraw their applications so they can continue working on them. You know, as the memo says, <clears throat> excuse me, agencies need to post uh, some guidance on their websites and provide a contact person uh, for questions. Now, more than likely, the contact person will be the same person listed in uh, the, the notice of funding opportunity. So if you have a deadline coming up and you haven't uh, heard from the agency, it's probably a good idea to reach out and ask if the deadline will be extended or if they'll be making some other type of uh, accommodations for applicants. Next, the, uh, next thing I want to go over is the no cost extension on expiring awards. Now I mentioned this in another video um, as something that uh, folks should be considering uh, if, their, if their projects are currently on hold. You know, I think a lot of grant recipients will take advantage of this. Uh, extensions are already fairly easy to receive, and this will make it easier on the awarding agency staff to grant them. Uh, as the guidance states, extensions can be made automatically by the awarding agency, that is, without the standard request from the grant recipient. And this is going to be helpful for a lot of grantees. Again, don't assume your grant will be extended <clears throat> excuse me just because this option is available to your funding agency always uh, always check with your program officer first okay the next one allowability of costs not normally chargeable to awards now I think this one is this one is huge 
Uh, it gives grantees the ability to charge costs for events, travel, and other activities that couldn't be performed uh, due to this virus outbreak. And I'm sure a lot of activities, <clears throat> excuse me, big and small, had to be uh, had to be canceled recently. And not everyone, you know, not every grantee or organization is going to get a refund on, you know, uh, deposits or travel costs or, I don't know, equipment rental fees, you know, or any other number of expenses. So if your grant is in this situation, you can charge those costs to your grant. Um, if you had to cancel, uh, you know, an activity that's critical to your grant, you know, you have to understand there likely won't be, you know, any supplemental funding coming your way sometime down the road to make up for it. Uh, you'll just you'll need to thoroughly document <clears throat> the costs that uh, that you incurred because of cancellations, and make sure to detail everything in your progress reports. Okay, next. Uh, the prior approval requirement waivers. Now, this could be extremely helpful if awarding agencies adopt this. You know, in normal times, grantees have a certain amount of flexibility with their budgets uh, and their expenses. You know, there are, however, several changes that cannot take place without prior written approval from the awarding agency. So, for example, changing your grant project director, uh, buying equipment, uh, modifying your project's scope, and, and so on. You know, so if agencies waive various prior approval requirements, uh, it could help grantees get their projects back up to speed quickly without having to wait for decisions from, uh, from their project officers. Uh, next, the extension of financial performance or other reporting. Uh, this seems this seems like common sense to me. Now, since projects are suspended for you know who knows how long, uh, it makes sense to extend the reporting deadlines to give projects some time to catch up to where they should be. And finally, the extension of closeout. Uh, so for grants ending this year, this, this will be helpful. Final reports are typically due 90 days after the project period closes. So again, since projects are in a state of limbo right now, this makes a great deal of sense. You know, projects need to get back online and up to speed to complete their, their final project year. And final reports you know, they can be challenging enough um, with the 90-day window. So I suspect grantees will need, you know, they'll need to make a lot of adjustments to their budgets, uh, their project evaluations, goals, objectives, and so on. And that's going to complicate final reports. So having extra time to square everything away, uh, it's going to be a big deal and, and really helpful for a lot of grantees. And, okay, you know what, that's it. Um, that's, that's all I have for this quick, quick little video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like it or give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time a video is uploaded. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me um, through my website or on social media. I'll have links to all that stuff in the description. And... Um, what else? Oh, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.